A child survives a terrifying attack, nearly killed by his own father. Now his attorneys are suing the state, saying the Department of Children and Families put him in the care of a dangerous man. The night team's Kevin Ozebeck back where the story started in Deerfield Beach. In 20 years, this is one of the most terrific cases that I have ever seen. David Boserman is the guardian ad litem for a nine-year-old boy publicly being referred to as SD. SD and his attorneys have filed this 24-page lawsuit alleging negligence against the Department of Children and Families. SD's attorneys say the department is partially to blame for the horror SD has experienced. This child was returned to a known pedophile. At the beginning of last year, SD's father, William De Jesus, drove his family to this RV park in Deerfield Beach. Police say De Jesus killed a Canadian tourist and then went on to fatally stab SD's older autistic brother. De Jesus also plunged the knife into SD's mother and SD but they survived. That night, during a standoff with police, De Jesus eventually killed himself. But years earlier, the lawsuit claims SC's parents sexually abused both him and his brother, so the two were put into DCF custody. But eventually, it was decided De Jesus and his wife should be allowed visitation. The lawsuit says during one visit, De Jesus assaulted SD yet again. De Jesus molested him by grabbing his crotch and swinging him up in the air. And De Jesus also attempted to violently kiss SD. But despite this, De Jesus and his wife regained full custody of the boys, only to have the horrifying night happen in Deerfield Beach. Bowserman says there were many red flags that should have prevented SD from being returned to his mom and dad. He got nothing. He did not get any of the protections. He didn't get the supports. He didn't get the recognition of what was going on. Nobody listened to him. But a DCF report found that its caseworkers did nothing wrong. The lawsuit also points the blame at four foster homes SD was in the care of that work with DCF. And today we did reach out to DCF to try and get a comment. A DCF spokesperson says the department is still reviewing the lawsuit. In Deerfield Beach, Kevin Ozebeck, 7 News.